Many pets are taken to the small animal hospital at the University of Florida when they're sick or undergoing a procedure, like this cat that's getting neutered. Another cat at the hospital this day is Chubby Cheeks, who puts a smile on her owner's face. After her first cat passed away, Patricia Dingman is happy to have another companion. And it's also self-gratifying for me besides the fact that, you know, here's a cat that needed a home. And I had a free home because I didn't have any other animals. So, you know, I feel strongly that people should adopt. Chubby Cheeks has a microchip. It contains contact information for the owner, which can be read by a scanner. If the cat gets lost, many shelters can scan the chip and identify the animal. Veterinary medicine student Lauren Unger says it's a good way to locate a lost pet. A study underway now at the college aims to determine if microchips increases the rate of lost cats and if they're reunited with their owners. The microchip study is putting a collar and a microchip on a cat and evaluating them over six months. We're trying to see what collar is going to be the best for the cat and in what the cat's lifestyle is. <laughs> Special microchips are a gift to the first 180 cat volunteers signed up for the study. They report the cat's body temperature when scanned. Our new microchip that's not on the market yet, so it's really great if you want to be involved with the study because there's no more rectal thermometers at the vet anymore. There are still 35 spots left if you do want your cat microchip, but there are some exceptions. One is, is that your cat can only be six months old and they could have not worn a collar one month before starting a study. Duke Carter, WUFT News.